Joy Gurudev, Joy Ma. Now we will speak about the do's and don'ts and the remedies that have to be done during the eclipse, during the Sutak and during the Ved and also before that and after that. So, first of all, you must be knowing it and if you don't know it, I'm telling you that uh, during the period of Sutak, we have already told you how to calculate the Sutak. So during the period of Sutak and uh, during the Ved period, uh, means during the time of the eclipse and before the eclipse, when the Ved has been established, no auspicious work must be taken up. Nothing new must be started. No projects must be initiated. No parties, no celebrations must be, you know, done during the period of the Sutak and the Eclipse, the Ved and the Eclipse. Okay, this is very, very, very important for everyone. No matter however the auspicious, the date, the Tithi may be, don't go ahead with all this. And then, uh, with my experience, I have uh, understood, I have learned that I have, uh, you know, come to the conclusion that uh, to remove the negativity of anything, the Gayatri Mantra of uh, that particular deity is very important. It will help you. Like, if you want to remove the negativity of a certain planet, then you must chant the Gayatri Mantra of that planet. If you want to remove the negativity of a certain Yantra, then you must chant the Gayatri Mantra of that deity who represents that Yantra. In the same way, you know, when you are doing Bij Mantras of a certain de deity, and if, if you feel that there's something going wrong, the energy is either too high or you cannot feel the energy, something is going wrong, then you must chant the Bij Mantra, or the Gayatri Mantra of the deity. So, for example, if you are doing Bij Mantra of Makali, and if, if you feel that uh, there's something going wrong, the energy is too high, you can't handle it. So, by chanting the Gayatri Mantra of Makali, you will be able to absorb and balance the energy. So, Gayatri Mantra of any deity is for balancing the energy. In the same way, Sun and Moon are becoming negative. So to balance them, you have to chant the Gayatri Mantra of the Sun and the Moon. You can chant this mantra during the Ved, during the period of the Grahan, before it and after it. It is very powerful. And you can remove the negative effect of Grahan Yoga. What is Grahan Yoga? Let us first understand that. Grahan Yoga is that, uh, you know, if you are affected by eclipse, if you are affected by uh, eclipse yoga in your horoscope, for example, if sun and moon are with Rahu and Ketu, it is known as Grahan Yoga in your horoscope. So this Grahan Yoga is such a negative yoga, such a huge, powerful negative yoga, that when you fall into it, every time when the eclipse comes, they will bring some kind of negativity for you. So, you have to check your horoscope or you need to ask an expert if the sun or the moon is with Rahu or Ketu, then there is Grahan Yoga. And you have to do the Nivana. And if you have the Grahan Yoga, the best remedy for you is chanting the Gayatri Mantra of the sun. If you have a sun, if the sun is, you know, uh, affected by eclipse and of the moon, if the moon is affected by eclipse. And what is the uh, Gayatri Mantra of sun? So I'm telling you, you please listen to it carefully if possible. We will also mention and write it on the, you know, information counter. The mantra of sun is Om Adityaya Vidmahe Divakaraya Dhimahe Tanna Surya Prachodayat Om Om Adityaya Vidmahe Divakaraya Dhimahe Tanna Surya Prachodayat Om Om Adityaya Vidmahe Divakaraya Dhimahe 
Tanna Surya Prachodhyatam. The next uh, is the the eclipse removal mantra, the Gayatri mantra of the moon. Now you can chant either both of them or you can chant, you know, the mantra of sun if you are if your sun is under influence of eclipse or you can chant the moon mantra if your moon is under influence of eclipse if you don't have anyone to give you this clarification it is simple during the eclipse if your mind becomes restless and if you become like angry and irritated or if all your job starts failing if your health goes for a toss then you must understand that you are affected by the eclipse just before the eclipse, 15 days before the eclipse, if this is happening, or every full moon and no moon, if you are affected, if your mind is affected, then you must know that you are affected very strongly with the eclipse. Even for Amavasya Yoga or Purnima Yoga, this is the remedy. So now we will see the uh, Gayatri Mantra of Moon. The Gayatri Mantra of Moon is Om Shiraputraya Vidmahe Amritaya Amrita. Tatvaya Dimahi Tanno Chandra Prachodayat Om Om Shiraputraya Vidmahi Amrit Tatvaya Dimahi Tanno Chandra Prachodayat Om Om Shiraputraya Vidmahi Amrit Tatvaya Dimahi Tanno Chandra Prachodayat Om now these two Gayatri mantras are the strongest remedies for your eclipse, for your Grahanyo. Then the best eclipse uh, remedies which have been given in the scriptures, we'll go through that. Uh, most of the scriptures have said that you know serve your Guru. That will help you to get over the negative effects of the eclipse. Second, they have chant, said is you chant your Guru Mantra. Now, if you have received your Guru Mantra or Guru Paduka Mantra, you must chant that mantra. It will also help you a lot. Then, the third thing is that, again, if you are, you know, suffering from Grahan Yoga, Sun or Moon, as with Rahu or Ketu, then offer water sweet water and a mixture of milk and water to the sun and the moon and while offering it from the curtain of the water from the curtain of milk and water you look at the sun from the falling water you look at the sun if your sun is affected and you are not getting fame or if you are continuously getting defamation then you must chant the Aditya Riday Stotra it is also good Chanting Bij Mantra of Ma Matangi Ma uh, Bhuvneshwari is also a very good uh, option for enhancing your sun powers. Now, if you are having Grahana Yoga, if you are having trouble, if you are not very well, then from the time of the Ved or one day before the eclipse, stop consuming salt. Salt will enhance the power of eclipse so you know avoid eating salt or eat salt but in minimum quantity just two days one days before the eclipse and during the eclipse avoid eating or drinking anything but salt you must surely avoid and now if it is a solar eclipse and if you are affected by it then you must donate a red cloth if possible to a small girl who has not received her cycle still now to that girl you must donate a red cloth and if you are affected by moon and your moon is bad so after the lunar eclipse you must donate a white cloth so donation of the red cloth donation of the white cloth is one of also one of the very good and very well known remedy of, you know avoiding the negative effects of sutak of eclipse so this is very much important secondly you know donating rudraksh will correct a lot of things you can donate a mala you can donate a five mukhi rudraksh sheep rudraksh but donate a rudraksh gift a rudraksh to someone that will remove the negative effect of eclipse or grind you from your horoscope specifically after the eclipse you can do that now 
uh, you know, feed kheer after the eclipse to kids or to small girls or to poor people after the eclipse. Immediately make it after the eclipse and feed it to the people. And if it is a solar eclipse, then you also add saffron to the kheer. Kheer is a mixture of rice, uh, milk, sugar and jaggery. You have to do that. Now, chanting mantras during the eclipse is very powerful. But if you want to remove the negative effect of a certain planet, then you must chant the Mahamrityunjaya mantra exactly during the eclipse. All the negative effects of eclipse and other planets will be erased and your health will become very powerful. Now, worship Lord Shiva and Hanuman and... Uh, you know, that will correct the negative effects of Rahu and Ketu and your Eclipse. And specifically, if you are doing this worship, mental worship or chanting mantra, because you can't touch the idols, the Shivlingam, etc. So mental worship or chanting mantras, if you are doing during the Eclipse, it will give you a very positive effect. Now, these are the remedies. Now, what are the do's and do's? As soon as the Ved starts of the eclipse, I've told you how to calculate the Ved of the eclipse. Now, if you have not seen that video, you go ahead and first watch the previous three videos. This is the fourth video. So, as soon as you enter the Ved of the eclipse, you must stop eating or drinking anything. That is very important. And, you know, this rule doesn't apply to small infants, kids, and uh, very old people, elderly people, or sick people. But if they can, they can also avoid eating or drinking during the eclipse. If there is a pregnant woman or if there is a small infant in the house, keep the curtains closed. Keep all the windows closed. Don't allow the outside light or air energy to come inside the house. The energy is very heavy and some accidents can of always happen. So be careful. Uh, don't start any important work. We have already told you that uh, avoid, you know, partying, eating, drinking and celebrating and, uh, you know, just chant and sing praises. Then avoid using knife or scissors because your mind is very vivering during the eclipse. You might, you know, uh, use a tool and the tool might hurt you. So avoid using tools, scissors, knives, etc. Okay, don't touch the idols of gods and goddesses. Seven pictures you must not touch. And you must not do any kind of prayers or puja, including the idols but you can chant mantras it is very powerful you can do uh, you know puja the kala pujas and you can you you can touch the kala dravyas uh, that is very important that you must do but you must not eat or drink again in the kala practice also the warm practice also you can't eat or drink and fire worship is absolutely you know, avoided during this uh, period. Even the Vamachar, Kolachar fire worship must be avoided during the Grahan period. Tulsi leaves and Kusha grass. Kusha grass is a special grass. If you can't get it, common grass, you can bring it much before dry it or you can bring it one day before. And this Kusha grass or Tulsi leaves, which are bought before must be kept in all the food grains and all the raw food and your temple and kusa grass must also be kept keeping this kusa grass or tulsi leaves you know in each and everything will help them from not being contaminated so if you want to save yourself from you know this contamination then you must do this for sure and uh, uh, what else uh, remedies like pregnant women they have to be really really careful pregnant women have to be really watchful of what they are doing during pregnancy uh, they must be very careful about the eclipse because during pregnancy there are chances of miscarriage or other things can happen so there are also chances that the unborn child might be physically or mentally challenged and miscarriages can also happen. So they, they have to stay indoors and they must not be exposed to any kind of, you know, phenomenon 
of the eclipse even if it is a small lunar eclipse like we are going to experience in 2020 still they must stay indoor immediately after the eclipse everyone must take bath specifically if a person is sick or pregnant they must surely take bath you must heat water and take bath and uh, discard cooked food if you have kept it and you know the eclipse period has passed touched it then you must discard that food after the grahan you must cook the food and then you can eat it again if if nowadays you know people don't like to follow all this they don't have time to follow all this and if you have cooked the food then put some durwa or dhup grass or tulsi in it and keep it locked and after the grahan you can eat it and uh, you know uh, if the pickles and all that you have made for the whole year or some kind of dry nasta wagera that you have uh, to use again and again if you have to you know use them then you can again you know safeguard them with tulsi leaves and other things and uh, donations after the grahan it is very important to make donations as per your requirement as per your signs as per your planets and that we will discuss in the coming videos it will be very beneficial if you make donations after the eclipse so these are the rules sutak of sutak and these are also the you know do's and don'ts okay you can't wear rudraksh and if all the threads that you are wearing they have to be discarded even the secret that the jano that you are wearing they have to be discarded and you have to wear the new ones i i hope everyone must be knowing this the clothes that you were wearing during the eclipse must be sent for washing must be given for washing okay so these are the rules please take care and these are very scientific as we have spoken before uh, they get contaminated so we are doing this okay so hari om tat sat